Compared to other conservationists, I think Carl is very different the way he approaches work. The work is very personal, but I think he's very unique in the way that he's able to look at all these different layers and how it comes together and how vital each part is. I think that's really something special. Mauritius is regrettably one of the places which has known a lot of destruction of habitat and loss of biodiversity. If Carl hadn't come, come in the 1970s, we most probably would have lost up to five bird species, a number of reptiles, a number of plants, a number of islands would be either reduced to rock or reduced to invasive plants and animals. By the late 1970s, the once pristine island of Mauritius and nearby Round Island had lost over 95% of its biodiversity. Considered a vital ecosystem for the world's rarest birds, reptiles and plants, the Black River Gorges National Park turned to an unlikely place for help. A Welshman who brought his experience in captive breeding to the islands. And I was told about the Mauritius kestrel, which was then the world's rarest bird. There were only four individuals known in the wild and it was felt that it was doomed to extinction. And I got very excited because I'd had a lot of experience breeding kestrels in my backyard as a, as a schoolboy. And they felt that I might have some of the practical skills that were necessary. We were able to rear the young in captivity and establish a captive breeding population. So over a period of one decade, we reared 333 Mauritius kestrels and uh, released most of those back into nature. Hello, little one. How are you doing? Aren't they charming? For me, Mauritius wouldn't be Mauritius without its echoparakeets, its Mauritius kestrels and its pink pigeons. And they're actually the, the soul of the Black River Gorges. What we have to realize about species is that they're a taxonomic entity, but they also have ecological roles. Each species' role in the balance of the Mauritian ecosystem is what continues to intrigue and drive Jones. Though he is credited with saving over a dozen animal species and several plants, he has also developed ways to use animals to help rebuild and revitalize dozens of degraded islets and forest areas. If you see Big Daddy, he should be in here somewhere, shouldn't he? These tortoises were, were brought to Mauritius at the request of Charles Darwin, and we've released them into the wild, where they're now fulfilling the function of the extinct Mauritian giant tortoise. We have a list of species that have disappeared. But what we've got to realize is that all those different species actually had an ecological function. We're finding out that the tortoises are very important for spreading seeds. If we can bring back analogs that can help disperse the seeds, then we might be able to restore a whole forest. People said, you can't possibly restore whole forest. So we started gradually taking small plots and pulling out all the exotic plants. And we found that within a matter of decades, the forest had been restored. So it's now beginning to function. And we're seeing it sort of bursting with life. We are learning the lessons on islands that can be applied to conservation worldwide. He has managed to instill a culture of conservation among the Mauritian uh, people, and in particular, among the younger generation. It's actually the younger generation that is teaching lessons of conservation to the older ones. It's fantastic. Through the partnerships and successful conservation systems he has implemented, Carl Jones has created a model for the world to emulate. He's uh, devoted his life to conservation. So for more than 30 years, he's done just that. He think conservation, he breed conservation. I still think of him as this fantastic uh, conservation biologist who's done so much. But at the same time, he's a good friend. Mr. Carl Jones has shown Mauritians the way forward, and we are grateful to this great man. What he has done in Mauritius is, is really a miracle. To go out into the forest and see a Mauritius kestrel actually makes me feel quite emotional. My hope is that we realize that species are savable and that there are techniques for saving them all and we go and do it. It's as simple as that.